Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, we have a brand new video for you. You know what it is. It's the Air Neo Flip. It's a brand new portable gaming device. And yes, it does have a flip open display. Now, if you join us for the first time, hit that subscribe button notification icon so you can watch more videos like this. And for our regular viewers, you guys voted for videos on Saturday and here it is. So we're giving you videos every Saturday, at least guaranteed on the channel. And as you know, I love to game a lot on the channel and I've covered a lot of Air Neo devices. The Flip is the latest in the line and I have to say, I do like the idea of having a device where you can actually close it up and carry it around and you don't need a case, which is pretty cool. So it's really robust and rugged, feels solid and you know that you're not gonna damage the display inside. That being said though, like it has this almost large Nintendo DS look to it. Um, and you've got, of course, your standard buttons. You've got your left and right uh, triggers, left and right bumpers. You also have a customizable RC and LC button. And then there are two USB Type-C ports at the back and a Q-Link port. You also have a micro SD card slot. And then you have this massive vent for uh, pushing out hot air with the fan underneath. The front of the device has two slits for the speakers, headphone jack. Kind of standard affair for gaming devices here. The grip wise, you know, it does have a little bit of a grip so you can hold it pretty well at the bottom. Now, when you open it up, this is where you get the kind of flair of what this device breaks, right? So if I just kind of show you here, you open it up, you can see that all the buttons are flush. The keyboard, the analog sticks, the D-pad, everything's flush. And it's meant to be that way so you can actually close this properly. Your D-pad is flat. Feels like you have to kind of dig in, especially if you're using fighting games, while your analog sticks are also kind of sunken on either side. You do have a full fleshed out keyboard, which feels a little bit easier to access in the center if you're using just your two fingers from either hand. And of course, you've got your standard buttons, your XYBA also, which kind of have a flat surface, your volume rocker, and then on the top right hand side are two buttons that kind of look off place because they have a very different color scheme. The silver one is the power button and also the fingerprint sensor, uh, which is nice. So quick access to turn on your device. And then that black square is a mouse dial. So you can actually move the cursor around while you're typing, you don't need to touch the screen. It is a touch screen anyway, and that screen is lovely. Seven inches, 120 hertz display, and of course there's Gambit. And ah, mon ami, Gambit, Gambit. Such a great X-Man. Anyway, if you want any of the wallpapers you see in this video, I'll leave the link for you guys down below. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous. You set it down, it, it just reminds me of the Nintendo DS. And it does have two variants. There's one with a keyboard and there's another one with a secondary display. I do have the version with the keyboard and in terms of specs, it's, this, it's the Ryzen 7840U. It's also got 64 gigabytes of RAM, max, um, as well as two terabytes of storage, max. You can get it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage. That, that model starts at 699 and you get it through Indiegogo. So there'll be a link for you if you guys are looking for this device. So you've got all the specs there. You're wondering, okay, what's the playability? What does it feel like gaming on something like this? To be fair, it's comfortable. In terms of gripping and holding, it feels comfortable while gaming. Now, playing games on here, it's an interesting uh, perspective. And, you know, I played some Street Fighter VI. I played some Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Just to give you a feel. Now, in terms of the performance, we know what these devices perform. It performs similar to the Air Neo Slide, which I'll kind of compare more with this device in a second. But the playability is what I want to talk about because with that D-pad being more flat and sunken, it's kind of harder doing a lot of the moves in Street Fighter. Playability, I think, feels less, doesn't have a more pronounced D-pad, at least for me. Now, the analog sticks are fine, especially playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but it feels like this limited range just because you're kind of in a sunken well while using this, so it feels a bit different. It has, takes, takes some getting used to, but you can still play and function quite well with this. And I think it handles that well. Now, in terms of temperatures, it didn't feel that hot. It felt actually pretty just warm in the hands and most of the hot air was being pushed out by the vent at the back. So I definitely like that there. Now, one of the things about this device is that, you know, you've got different angles for the screen. So you can actually have it flat all the way. You can have it slightly up, uh, kind of like a 45 degree angle 
you can have it almost close to 90 and then you can close it up. So you've got a couple of angles for viewing angles for this, which is good while you're gaming because it gives you just, you know, just a perfect way to actually game on this device, which not a lot of devices do have that. So that's something to take note. Now, I mentioned the AN Neo slide. That's a device that came out earlier and I covered it on the channel and I really like that device. I traveled with it a lot. This is the device here. And what I like about it is just the way the slide out display and keyboard in the center kind of just show up. Show you that again, slides out, pops up, right? Pretty cool. And it has an angle. So it's got a slight angle, better for better viewing. Keyboard is flush, but keyboard is also a bit wider than what you have on the flip. On the upside of this, the D-pad here is so much better and the buttons feel more pronounced, everything feels comfortable. And it's also wider for me as a gamer in comparison to the flip. You can see it side by side, you can see it stacked up here, you get the idea. And I wish for me personally, I wish you could turn this into this. And what I mean by that is have this display, instead of sliding out, flip, over and close right over that keyboard. To me, will make the most amount of sense uh, for this devices. I'm not saying that the flip isn't good, it's just that the a &E flip doesn't necessarily meet all the things that I'm looking for, especially while gaming. I think this is a good device, but I think some of the drawbacks of the design kind of limits what I would like to do with the device. I would take the the slide over that just because I feel like I can gain more in terms of just the functionality, not the specs or not the performance, but just, just the physical hardware functionality. But it's great to have your screen in moving different angles, you know, that way. So that is the Air Neo Flip. Um, I think it's a solid device. It might not be for me, it might be for you, but Air Neo does this wonderful thing that I do like with them is that they have different devices that you can select from. And going to their website, you see a ton of different devices they have. And I love the fact that they're always making something new. So I can't wait to see what next they have, uh, but I think they have a device for you, which is pretty great. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you wanna pick any of these devices up, use the link down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay tuned on the channel, come back next Saturday and we'll have another video for you. So always enjoy your entertainment.